This is Twit. Over the weekend, there was a little kerfuffle of sorts on Twitter when fair use expert Cory Doctorow announced that he'd received a takedown notice from electronic scooter company Bird because of a link that he put in an article on Boing Boing, his website, uh, about how to repurpose an old scooter. Now, that's right. It was a takedown notice for a link. Bird has since apologized to Dr. O for its overzealous lawyers, but we still thought it was worth talking to the author of the original article, which was posted late last year. Welcome, Brian Benchoff from Hackaday. Hi. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming on. So before we get to the contents of the article itself, uh, were you surprised by all the brouhaha over the weekend? Uh, at from Cory Doctorow. Um, well, you don't send a takedown notice to Cory Doctorow. <laughs> no. <laughs> exactly. No. Yeah. yeah that, I think that's like internet rule number one or maybe two, but it's right up yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. So you kind of knew that he was going to apologize. That was, that was an ill-conceived idea, yes. <laughs> <laughs> maybe they just didn't know who he was. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, so tell us where you, how you got the idea uh, to repurpose these scooters. Um, well, so over on the scooter, one of the scooter talk forums, um, some genius, absolute genius, realized that his town impounded scooters, which means there were hundreds of scooters sitting in just a lockup in town. Well, these scooters cost $400, and they're probably getting like $20 a day times 100 so those scooters are literally unprofitable for bird to claim hmm. they can just buy more and get yeah um so those scooters are going to auction which means somebody can just buy a hundred bird scooters for however much money and then you can get a 30 dollar motherboard the that replaces the bird motherboard in the scooter and you get hundreds of free scooters for uh, maybe a thousand bucks. So, yeah, you see there, they, that's the picture of the bird scooter in lockup. <laughs> so they're, yeah. they're oh, impounded. The uh, they're impounded because the town or, or the municipality has decided that they uh, are not, they don't want them on their streets or they were just, why, why were they impounded? Well, it's a better solution than throwing them into the lake, which is what San Francisco was doing. Well, the people of San Francisco were doing, um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, they didn't want them on their street and they just impounded them. So, uh, I mean, move fast and break things like laws. So. <laughs> right. So we should back up a little bit. So, so these boot bird and other scooter companies just put them out there without first getting um, the right to have them out there. Oh yeah. It was right. um, back in, what was it April, March or April last year? Mm -hmm. That they just arrived. They they just it was magic. Were, it was it, it, yeah the scooter tree just the scooter <laughs> harvest, um, and they just flew out there. And I think uh, I, it was Bird or Lime weren't ready to ship their units, but because one company did and the other company didn't, they just had to go mm -hmm. because first mover. Whoever gets their first wins. Um, the early bird gets the worm. Ooh, oh, yeah. yes. Hey, yeah. That was good. <laughs> that was, yes. That, was <laughs> yes. I mean, that might have actually been part of their business plan. <laughs> I, I could see that on, on the printout. Yeah. Um, so talk a little bit about kind of how how we got here to Cory Doctorow posting and then them, you know, getting getting all legal. Like you posted the article last year that kind of illustrates how you do this. Uh, yet oh, this was yeah. not this was not approached by Bird. It was the attention that was shown on it by Cory Doctorow's post. Talk about uh, well, that a bit. well, um, yeah, I don't believe the whatever forum got a takedown notice from that. Um, I didn't get a takedown notice from that. But it, I, I don't know if it's a popularity thing. Like you put this on Boing Boing, a lot of people are going to see it. That's but, true. Uh, yeah. Um, but I, I mean, all the information is out there. If you want to see a bird brain, wait, which way? There we go. Now, yeah, bird that, brain a, is that taken from a bird scooter, or is this oh, the yeah, Chinese? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We, no. Yeah. See, so, yeah. so we have the bird. Oh man, there's lag. Uh, so this is just a bird brain, and all it is is just a board with a particle dev board and um, a GPS unit, 
and the stock unit, which you can buy from uh, AliExpress or China, is just thirty dollars. And this is a drop-in replacement. And this this replaces this. So um, there are. It is if you can get cheap scooters from Lockout legally, you have a thirty dollars scooter or forty dollars or whatever. I'm very interested in seeing where the bird hacking goes because we also have, um, you know, the Tesla Powerwall. Mm -hmm. It's made of units like this, <laughs> which this is 30 um, 18650 cells. So you get a few legal, I'm, I'm going to emphasize legal bird scooters, and you can build a Tesla Powerwall for probably like 20% of the price of what the DIYers are going so so this entire thing is I'm calling bird boxing because memes <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah um. well so I so there have you heard from bird I mean there's nothing illegal about buying a scooter from a city and then doing whatever you want with it or is it is it in terms of like the same way you fixing your John Deere, you know, the right to repair movement stuff is illegal. Like, is it illegal to buy a scooter? And it, I, I can't imagine any law that you would have, that you buy a impounded scooter from city lockup and you do anything with it. I, I can't understand how that could be illegal because uh, birds, it was a, was it the DMCA for mm -hmm. Rory Doctorow? Mm -hmm. That it, it's not hardware. It, like this, this board, it's not software, this mm. board, there's no encryption on this board. And it, like removing this is not defeating encryption. I mean, so. <laughs> <laughs> and it is an interesting question because it's a question it's of, of oh, the, the question in the past over around the right to repair movement is about ownership. Like right. I own this, so therefore I should get to um, fix it, but, and you do own it, but like Bird never imagined that people would own their scooters. That wasn't what, that wasn't their hope when they came up with this idea for scooters on, on demand scooters. Well, for the, for the Bird scooter, there's no real secret sauce. These are um, Xiaomi or something, just standard off the shelf Chinese electric scooters that you can buy right now for $400. Okay, and then they drop in. They have a nice little injection molded thing with the QR code on top, and they drop their bird brain in. Um, that's that's how bird manufactures their scooters. Uh, if you just take that off, there's nothing bird tied to the scooter. The scooter can be independent of the bird brain with this $30 motherboard replacement. So... Um, because that's the I, way it was prior that, to birds snapping I, it up and putting their own stuff on there to begin I, I, with. I mean, I mean, literally, you could take this, buy a forty, buy a four hundred dollar scooter, and make your own bird scooter which, <laughs> if you wanted to. For some reason, I, 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 yeah. <laughs> You too can uh, own your scooter by the limitations of the company Bird. Um, yeah, so you mentioned in your write up just about how how kind of the scooter hacking world you say is one of the most interesting uh, adventures, let's say, in uh, in modern day hacking. Um, I mean, you you talked a little bit about this kind of the power wall aspect of this if if someone was to go to auction and snap up a bunch of these what, like what else could they do what if i'm not, i'm not the the hacker okay, type to know so, what so, i could do um, with this but what are some of the cool things you could do well okay i, I want to preface this by saying that picking up sco electric scooters from the sidewalk and then turning them into anything is the most cyberpunk thing <laughs> this is the cyberpunk future we all deserve because it's <laughs> awesome um Apart from that, um, I can think of possibly three things. You can take the battery module and build a power wall, because I mean, this is this is this thing weighs like yeah, three or four pounds. This is yeah, how many? This is what two hundred and eighty watt hours. So you get a you get a couple dozen of those, and you can run your run TV for a day. Um, the power wall idea. There's also a motor inside. I, I haven't done the math, 
but if you wanted to build a drone out of it, I don't know if it would work. It's kind of a very large, low RPM motor. You might be able to build a fixed wing drone, but you might not be able to build a quadcopter. Hmm. And then, of course, you just you can just have a scooter or a non-electric scooter. Oh, a a hey, non-electric wait, scooter? Why not? Why not? Why not? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think this is it's sort of ridiculous. I think Bird is back down. At the, I mean, they've fully backed down because the idea is I mean, we're creating so much tech waste and mm. we should be encouraging people who are going to make something out of it to do, sure. to repurpose it, to use something else. So, um, and so you, that is, is that mostly what you do on Hackaday? Um, yeah, it, repurposing it's, stuff? it's repurposing things. Um, ironically, some of our best hacks come from people finding stuff on the sidewalk, like an old projection TV. And let's just turn that into a 3D printer, which, I mean, talk, let's talk about the legality of finding stuff on the sidewalk and repurposing it for our own needs. Um, like a scooter. But... Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's it's repurposing. It's bizarre cyberpunk engineering. So, yeah. Love it. Well, Brian, thank you for giving yep. us the cyberpunk future that we all deserve. <laughs> Helping yes. give us that. <laughs> Brian Benchoff yes. is a contributor to Hackaday. He is also an insecurity researcher. You can find him on Twitter and GitHub at B Benchoff. Thanks so much for coming on. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. We appreciate it. Take we'll talk care. to you soon. Yep.